Uh, good afternoon. My name is Turner Bitten. I'm the chair here at the Glendale Neighborhood Council. Uh, I would like to thank you for tuning into this community conversation about a proposal for townhomes on Quail Avenue, Avenue here in Glendale. Uh, we're joined today by Jordan and Jake from TAG SLC, who are uh, the folks proposing the development. Um, they've prepared a presentation, and so first we'll have them give their presentation, and then if you have questions, uh, if you would submit them on the Facebook chat, or if you're here on Zoom, uh, if you would submit them in the chat on Zoom, we'll get to as many as we can. Uh, and with that, Jake, I'll turn it over to you. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for uh, having us here. Um, I'll start off by just uh, kind of going through the slides and uh, give you a little bit of background on the project and how we uh, came to kind of conceptualize what we're proposing. Um, go ahead and figure out how to share the screen. Let's see here. Maybe we can make that bigger. Awesome. All right. So um, the site of the uh, proposed uh, rezone is uh, 968 uh, West Quail Avenue. Um, for a little bit of background, uh, that is um, just to the west of um, the marine products. Uh, I think it's like a boat dealership or storage of some sort. Um, and uh, you know, we're in Glendale, we're close to uh, the Jordan River Trail, um, Seven Peaks Water Park, um, which obviously you all had a, a meeting about yesterday, uh, the plan moving forward with that. And then um, we're within, I, I don't I think it's about a half mile to the uh, Sorensen Center. Um, we uh, are pretty close to um, townhomes that were built last year by CDCU. And uh, this is actually just uh, one portion of the parcels uh, that we own that we're applying for. The, um, we're, we're also doing some additional townhomes by right. Um, kind of going to uh, how we have kind of come to this point. Uh, initially, we sought to acquire the marine products uh, building and uh, we would have sought to expand that. Um, however, we determined that that wasn't feasible and uh, we started looking for other parcels in the area and found uh, these parcels next door. Um, our interactions with the community indicated that, um, you know, folks need housing that's suitable for families. So um, in light of that, we, started thinking about different housing options. And um, we eliminated the potential for apartments after kind of thinking through the uh, parking considerations and then uh, also some of the other practicalities. Um, the uh, CDCU, like I said, um, built, I think it's 10, 10 townhomes uh, across 1700. And um, those sold out really quickly. Um, and the, the project to us seemed to indicate that there was more demand for this sort of thing. So um, we decided to pursue um, large and flexible units uh, capable of housing families. Um, to give you a little bit of context, uh, I went out and took some photos the other day. Oh, sorry, let's zoom in on that. Um, this is uh, the site uh, looking from the south. Um, we are, uh, close to those uh, townhomes, like I mentioned, but unfortunately we're also um, abutting this uh, junkyard across the street. Um, our uh, request for the planned development is to make uh, multiple curb cuts within hundred feet of each other. Um, the alternative design would be to um, run a uh, single- Hey, uh, I have to get on this Zoom call real quick. Let me call you back. Keep going. Okay. Um, so that uh, drive aisle would um, run uh, along the eastern side of the property and, and enter from the southern property line. Um, with our proposed changes, we're going to be able to offer uh, two more units. Um, and they're of a configuration uh, that has a bedroom and a bonus room. Um, we think that these units are really adaptable and um, they're clearly something uh, that the community needs. We need more housing. Um, 
the uh, design that we're proposing would also allow for more green space uh, between marine products and uh, the back ends of these uh, units. Um, you know, the uh, marine products building is a, a big cinder block building and not super desirable to look at. So we'd like to buffer it out as much as possible. Um, we, we also feel that uh, by granting this request, we'd be able to um, prevent our future residents from feeling like they're kind of on, you know, an island among uh, like a giant concrete slash asphalt horseshoe. Um, this is the site uh, from the north. Um, and as you can see, we've had some camping issues lately. Uh, we're working on getting that resolved right now. And uh, we've actually been uh, engaging with those folks and uh, trying to resolve that issue. Um, this would be our proposed uh, site plan under the plans development. Um, the uh, driveways would actually uh, be partially landscaped. And um, as you can see, um, there would be multiple curb cuts and uh, the uh, rear end of the property would be uh, landscaped, providing that buffer uh, for us between um, us and the marine products. Um, the alternate site plan is uh, this. Um, as you can see, uh, there's access on Pearl. There would be some green space in the front. Um, and then uh, people would be able to uh, enter uh, their garages from the back. Um, we would lose a couple of units, and the units would be more uniform in size. Um, these units would actually be uh, slightly smaller than uh, the large units in the current conceptualized project. So um, we would lose some of those more attainable and flexible units while also having to reduce the size of the units that would be more family friendly. And um, one of the big reasons why we're making uh, the request is because this is uh, what our front yard would be. Uh, there's a junkyard across the street we actually acquired one of the parcels uh, that were, or, well, we acquired this parcel from uh, the folks that own the junkyard. And, you know, obviously we would love to see this redeveloped eventually too, but uh, that's not going to be um, a realistic possibility for the foreseeable future. So um, we're really trying to uh, create a buffer and uh, have the usable uh, outdoor space uh, be in the back where it doesn't have to face uh, a junkyard. And uh, here is a, a rendering of uh, kind of the preliminary idea of what the buildings are going to look like, some elevations. And that's all I have. So if anybody has questions, I'm more than happy to answer. Uh, I have just a couple. Would you mind stopping sharing your screen? Oh, yeah, sorry. Then folks will see the conversation. Yeah, there we go. Uh, my, uh, I only have one question, and then if there's audience questions, we can get to those. I don't see any on Facebook, uh, nor on Zoom. Um, but what do, you, what do you expect the the square footage to be of each unit, approximately? Um, we can actually pull uh, pull that up in the plans real quick. And then while you're doing that, you expect yep. these to be sold, right? These are not rentals. These are- Oh yeah, these are for sale prod, uh, product. Great. I'm guessing this is it. Yeah. Uh, so in our proposed plan, we would have five units that would accommodate a three, uh, three bed, two and a half bath concept at 15, uh, 1546 square feet, and then four units um, right at about 1100 and that's kind of the one bed plus a bonus room. Great. Um, and final question. I don't see any audience questions, so um, we will we'll just end the live stream after this. But um, what can you just kind of boil down what specifically uh, you are requesting from the Planning Commission, just so that uh, folks are aware? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, what we're requesting is to uh, make multiple curb cuts. Uh, so that um, folks can pull into uh, their garages off of uh, Pearl Street rather than having that single uh, drive aisle that kind of uh, makes the concrete horseshoe uh, coming in off of Quail. Okay. 
Great. And you mentioned an alternative design. Is that if that isn't approved? Yeah, that is correct. So the alternative design would have um, the drive aisle coming in off of quail. We would lose a couple of units and then um, we would also have uh, significantly less green space. Perfect. Well, uh, I don't see any audience questions. Um, Stephen, I'm gonna call on you just because I see your name on the Zoom. Do you have any questions? Nope. All right, thank you. Um, well, with that, I uh, since we don't have any questions, I'm going to end the live stream. If you all would just kind of stay on for one second sure. um, after I end it, um, that'd be great.